Hey everybody, I'm Russo, and I do a little work here and there. Looks like it's time for another episode of Research What? This time I'm talking about using cardstock to make armatures for miniatures. If you watched the Teaching the Silhouette to Draw video, then you already saw the little piece of cardstock that these were drawn on. First step from there is cutting them out, which, you know, is sort of fiddly work, I'll admit. But, hey, proof of concept, it is all in the name of research. And I'm pretty sure this is my first Monster Hunter related video. I mean, it's barely related, but reason enough to celebrate. The end result we're going for here is sort of like those slotted wooden animals you see sometimes. You know, it's like insects or dinosaur skeletons. These things. Well, we're basically doing that, but with cardstock and a lot smaller. The thing I'm making is a palico, or I guess a feline or malynx from Monster Hunter, and I've based all of these pieces on screenshots that I took from the game. I took the screenshot, outlined the pieces that I wanted on top of it, and then scaled the whole thing down until it was about the size that I wanted. And now we have this. And I actually drew more pieces than I thought I would end up using in the end. But, you know, eventually it's all going to get covered up, so, you know, whatever you do under there, it's up to you. Once everything's ready, you can cut some toothpicks to length, you know, whatever length you want, and you can super glue whatever you want to be the, the base piece to the stick. I do this before I glue the cross sections in, but if you think it would be easier the other way around, then by all means. After that, I cut and added the cross sections. You can either cut slits in like those wooden toys I talked about, or you can just cut the cross section in half and glue each half on one by one. I'm going to have his body split into a bunch of pieces for maximum posability, and I'm going to put each piece on a new toothpick. But yeah, as you can see, I built a little contraption that, from one angle at least, should give you a pretty good idea of how good a likeness I managed to capture. The next step is going to be filling the gaps in this with an epoxy putty, and that is another video for another time. It's important to note that these pieces are a little disjointed. There's going to be some additional fitting in the sculpting phase. And right now, it probably looks a couple millimeters taller than it's going to be in the end. It looks like it comes to Samus Aran's waist, and while I guess I would say both of these are about 28 millimeter scale, I think you probably know by now, 28 millimeter scale doesn't really mean a whole lot. It's quite a range. Anyway, look forward to the sculpting part of this. I'll try to get it done as soon as I can. If you're in the future, just go watch it. And until next time, you've been watching Research What? on Russo Works, and I am Russo. Out.